You have the Vortex ZG65. It looks like this cool raised panel on the back with two cameras. It says Vortex here on the back. And you have unfortunately forgotten your PIN pattern or password. And no matter what, you can't remember it. The good news is that uh, I can help you. We can reset the phone and erase the screen lock. The bad news is we have to factory reset the device. Before we get into that, please stick around to the back so I can talk to you about our Epic Forest coloring book. I am Jason. I am the phone guy who is also an artist. All right, let's get into resetting the phone. So we have to power off our Vortex ZG65. Let's power it off. And then the important combo is volume up and power. So let's hold volume up first, now power. And just real quickly, the small menu comes up in the center of the screen, and we're going to use just the volume keys. Volume up is to select. We want that arrow, oops, too far. We want that arrow to stop at recovery mode, and now volume down is okay. And it just takes a moment or two for it to run its software inside uh, letting and letting us know that it's bringing up the Android recovery menu. And here it is, Android recovery menu. And from here, we just use the volume buttons to go to wipe, oops, right here, wipe data factory reset. Now we push power for OK. One more time, factory data reset. This cannot be done undone. All user data will be erased. OK, so factory data reset. And we got to press power for OK. And we're going to wait down here for the data wipe to be complete. It could take a few seconds like it did here. Or if you use your phone a lot, it could be many minutes. Now it is safe to reboot the system. And I have to remind you that if you've set up your phone with your Google or Gmail account, especially if you've turned on the Find My Device security, you will 100% need your Google and Gmail account to get back into the phone. All we've done is erase the screen lock. All right, if that has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And now if you would stick around for a little bit of our art. So we made this Epic Forest Coloring Book. It is available on Amazon if you look up Epic Forest Coloring Book or just click the link in the description. And this book is not for beginners. It's for people who want to take their art to the next level. And this coloring book is designed to help you become a better artist. And we've done a couple of samples in the back where we can use alcohol marker, colored pencil. You can use acrylic. This paper is not perfect for watercolor, but if you want to try watercolor, you can do that. I've used a little bit of uh, uh, metallic inside here. And I'll show you some of the originals. So this is the original where I made this. It's I'm, I love the artist called Klimp, K-L-I-M-M-P-T, Klimp. <laughs> I think that's how you spell it. And uh, this is a variation on the history of life. And we ended up putting that on the back cover. Half undone. It's available inside here. I don't remember what page. It might be towards the beginning. But there's lots of just cool. It lets you. There it is. It lets you decide what to do. And from this book, we went on to uh, create more and more art. And this is a watercolor with a little bit of metallic in there. So we did a birch forest with flowers layered on the front. Same with this one. This one's inside the coloring book, Epic Forests. And you see have a blue moon in the background. Again, flowers in the foreground. And the, the, a little bit of inspiration from a real trip that I took to Rocky Mountain National Park and took this picture and then ended up coloring it with colored markers. So if you want to support our channel, Please buy Epic Force Coloring Book, available in the links in the description. And once again, thanks for watching.